What's going on boys and girls, my name is VK, welcome to a brand new, exciting Adobe After Effects VFX tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how we can create or recreate the effect from the TV series DC Titans and specifically the Rachel's Demonic Possession. So I have recreated uh, my own example here and let's go ahead and see what that final result will look like. Alright, so there's a lot of cool stuff going on in here. So we have some smoke, we have some cool coloriz colorization to the skin, and of course we have this eye effect here, which is the main part of the whole tutorial. So let's go ahead and take it up for a spin, let's see how this is bad boy is created. So the first thing you want to do is jump into our elements here, which you can find in the training pack I have given you in the description down below. I will take the base footage and drop it into a new composition here. Then I'm going to find a good beginning and end point for the composition. And for the training purposes, I think this could be really good. I will hit the B key for starting out and N key to have the ending point for this comp. Then right click and trim comp to work area. So up next, what we're going to be doing is to create essentially tracking data for both of our eyes. I'm going to be using Mocha AE in built into After Effects for this process. Open up Mocha here, and if you wish to have a more in-depth tutorial how you can use Mocha, how to label tracks, create a multiple la like uh, data layers, uh, I have a tutorial up in the cards up if you want to check that out. But essentially what I'm going to do is to create uh, a couple tracking data marks around both of my eyes and then I will start tracking them uh, forward in the scene. And then I will be back when I have created this tracking data. And once successfully we have created our tracking data for both of our eyes, we can go ahead and exit out of Mocha and start putting the tracking data into some null objects. I'll go right click here and create a new null object. I will duplicate it right up front, hit return and, find, and type in left and then I will type in right. Now let's go ahead and activate base footage again, go to tracking data, create track data, right eye. Okay, let's go to layer export to the right eye and have it on transform. Then we'll apply that tracking data to that layer. So now one of the null layers have that tracking data for the right eye. Now it's gonna do the exact same thing for the left eye. So create tracking data, left, okay. Like this. So now all our tracking data is parented to two nulls, which will be the cornerstone for this whole effect process. Next up, we're going to start creating some darker areas around our eyes. So let's go ahead and zoom into one of our eyes here. Let's go ahead and create a new solid, Control Y. Let's make it black. Let's call this, well, yeah, black solid, pretty good. Let's turn it off. Let's hit the pen tool and draw a pretty rough mask around our eyelid here, or our eye here. Let's turn it back on. Let's hit the F for some feathering. Let's smooth this out just a touch. And then I will hit the G, G key again for the feather tool. Let's have, have a point one to the right, one to the left, and then have one point and drag it down. So what we essentially are doing is creating this kind of like a fall off, like the shadow fall off downwards. So that's pretty much what we're doing here. Cool. Then let's go ahead and do the exact same process for my left eye and let's then parent this to the right eye. So let's go ahead and parent this to the left eye here and then let's go ahead and do the same thing for the next eye. And once that has been accomplished, let's go ahead and move on to the next part. As we can see, the eyes are not completely black. So this is just like a starting point in creating this shadow. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Let's go ahead and start darkening the eye colors themselves. Let's go ahead and create a new adjustment layer. And then let's go ahead and take the pen tool. And then let's go ahead and zoom in to the area here. And let's create more, um, more specific mask around one of the eyes here. So let's go ahead and find the curves, curves effect here. Let's put that on there. And let's just drop in the opacity. Or like the, like the luminance here. Make it a little bit darker. Let's go to a red channel and drop it down so we get just a little bit of blue there also. Let's hit F on our keyboard to get to our uh, feather properties and hold down the control key to make really fine adjustments. Cool. Alright, so now let's go, do, uh, let's go ahead and paste that 
and do the exact same thing on the second eye. Let's go ahead and parent this to the left eye first. And then let's put that on the second eye also. And once we have done this, let's go ahead and start creating on these specular highlights we can see in our reference photo here. It's really easily how it's done. Let's go ahead and create a new solid. Let's make this white with just the tiniest tint of blue. Click OK. Let's turn the layer off. Let's zoom in once more. Take the pen tool and create a really nice mask around the specular highlights. Turn the layer back on. And then using the control or command key, let's make really fine adjustments to the specular highlights. We can also play with the mask expansion and just shrink it down just a touch. Cool. That's real simple to do. Then let's do the exact same thing on the second eye. Alright, so once we have created these specular highlights and we have parented them to the right eye, and let's go ahead and turn back on the black patches here. And let's see what we have here. Take a little look. We're having a pretty good advancement here. So we have our darkening in our eyes, we have some shadow, and we have some specular highlights. That's awesome. Now let's go ahead and move on and start working on the veins for this effect. So what we're going to do is take this vein image, which is inside the track, the, like the training pack. What we're going to do is go ahead and start working with this. So what we know about the veins in this reference, that they go from top to down and they are also a little bit fading into the skin. So we're trying to recreate something of that sort. Alright, so what we're going to do first is take our pen tool and just make a mask around this central piece of vein here. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and move this closer to our eye here. Maybe drop the scaling down so we can get a little bit closer. Zoom in here. All right. So, no, not that. Okay, so the next thing we can do is go ahead and what I like to do is to go ahead and pre-compose this layer. Then I usually like to move all attributes to that layer. Let's go inside the layer now. All right, so inside the comp we have our vein here. And what I like to do is go ahead and find the gradient ramp. And I want to add a gradient for this effect. So I'm going to go ahead and start the, at the starting point right here at the top where the eye is and having the ending point at the tip of this. Then what I'm going to do is take this to maybe a little lighter gray here like this. So we're having pretty much like a, like a fading in and fading out once we have a, add, add a like layer style to this. Then all I usually like to do is to duplicate this and then I like to rotate this a little bit around move this across, maybe scale it up just a touch. And then I usually like to take the opacity down, something like 20%. This will add the illusion of like we have some dimension, that we have different uh, like levels of depth into these veins. Let's go back to the, add like the, the footage here. And oh yeah, so let's go ahead and create a, a new solid, a background for this. Yeah, take the like a white solid here. Put it on the on the back here. Let's go to back footage. Put this on multiply. So now we can see some fading in action going on here. Let's go ahead and move this anchor point closer here so we have a easier time maneuvering this. So we can scale this up. Maybe rotate this around. So we have a look we like. This looks pretty nice. Let's go ahead and parent this to the left eye here. Now that looks really good. Now let's go ahead and do the exact same thing for the right eye. And once we have parented all the veins and stuff, they look really, really nice. So we can add a little detail to add some animation and some flow to this. Is how we're gonna do this is let's select one of the veins. And let's go ahead and take the G key to make a mask. Let's take a mask around the eye so we vanish the veins itself then let's go ahead to the mask uh, expansion properties here let's hit the mask expansion go about a second forward expand the veins and also have the feathering to be a, around 70 or 80 pixels so we can have a, like a smooth fade in for our uh, veins here when they appear on on the face now let's go ahead and do the exact same thing on the second eye here also. Let's do a quick rough mask. Let's go to the expanded mask properties. 100% and 
have about 80 pixels. We have this nice flowing, get these veins happening and like in opacity, just like in the TV series. Now let's do a really quick detail here. When I'm blinking, I also want the specular highlights to blink with me. So it looks like my demonic eyes are still blinking. I'm gonna show this real quickly. Let's go ahead and shut off everything else but the but the least veins and specular highlights here. And then what I'm gonna do is find a blink here, take the specular highlights, and uh, yes, let's go ahead and split the layer, command shift D. Let's go a couple of frames until the specular highlights are coming back. Let's do that and do the same thing again right here. Alright, so once that is looking nice, we can see that we are blinking. It gives the specular highlights a little bit more life. So we're really close to the, to the score line. Let's have it a couple more minutes, guys. Let's go ahead and add our favorite, like um, a soothing color grade to give it a little bit more this bluish look. I have a ready made here, which I just I'm gonna copy paste here. And this is basically just a lot more contrast and more blues to the shadows. You know, I won't be covering this. I just want to add a little bit more blue and contrast. Next thing I want to do is to start matching the skin tones in my face closer to our reference here. Because the, the model there are having some more pale skin when these effects occur. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and create a new adjustment layer like this. Let's go ahead and make a rough mask around my face. Let's put a tint effect on this here. So we we'll just desaturate this and take this highlight tone here and give it some some nice blue highlight here. Tone it down, something like this. And we're just gonna dial in some good paleness. Feather this out and pair that to the, for example, the left eye. So now the face also has a little bit more character. At this point, it's really good to start now start to dial in a little bit more uh, of the these darkness levels of our, our previous made effects here. Let's go to the black solids here, open up them both and start dialing maybe about 55% of the darkness like this. Now let's go also to the adjustment layers here and take the, their opacity to maybe like 70% like that. So we have a lot nicer, it's not like super dark black stuff happening, it's just like dark enough so we have this demonic look in our eyes. As a last real cool kicker, we can add some a little bit more at, uh, like a fog to this scene. Let's go ahead and command, uh, like select everything, let's pre-comp everything, and then let's go ahead to the project and find one of our lingering fog effects over from actionvfx.com. These are amazing assets, filmed with red cameras, super much dynamic range, and they just look amazing. And I'm blessed enough to have a coupon code for you. Use my code VK Phenomenal. Go to the website. They have explosions, stock effects, action VFX over for days and years. You have to go check them out. So go check them out. Use the coupon code. Save 10% off. And, you know, freaking love the products. So I love to have a little bit more of these, like, live action elements to tie up every, like everything so just scale up and have a little bit down of the opacity to have like some cool atmospheric fog just to tying up everything really really well and that was pretty much it hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial if you did don't forget to give me a like and a comment on this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and you haven't already consider it it will be awesome uh, and hey hit that notification bell if you don't want to ever miss out on a future project my name is VK, hope you guys I can see you next time, until then, peace.